here with Dr. Premick Hammer, who has his degree in crayfish. I saw his, him driving down the street. He parked outside 41 King, and I said, wow, what a neat license plate. When you see his license plate, it says... Uh, uh, it says Ontario crayfish years to discover. And we're discovering Ontario crayfish with Dr. Prima Kammer. Uh, so why are crayfish so important? Why are crayfish important? It's uh, because they, everything eats them and they eat everything, really. They're, mm -hmm. So they're like a keystone species, really, in the water. And, you know, so fish eat them, birds eat them, and they in turn eat everything else. Vegetation, they eat fish if they can catch mm -hmm. them. So the health of our crayfish tells us the health of our environment. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like the canary in the coal mine. Uh, a bit, yeah, huh. sure. So uh, how are our crayfish anyways? Well, here in the Kawartha's actually, uh, they are, uh, there's lots of them, but they're not the right kind of crayfish because sometime in the late 60s there's been introduction of of these crayfish from Ohio, the rusty crayfish, hmm. which some people probably know about. And these rusty crayfish have uh, spread and expanded through uh, the Kawartha's. And in many, most places, they've actually uh, replaced the native species. So what can we do to help this problem? So I guess the, the main thing is, uh, is not to spread them around. So when people catch crayfish, which, you know, kids do catch crayfish a lot, 